Grant Taylor is not capable of winning. He doesn't have it in him. That's the whole point. Dan, I'm not personally attacking the coach. I'm just saying I want my son to have the best football program possible. That's right. Look, my son's got a chance for a football scholarship if he's taught by the right coach. Matt's going to be a senior next year. I don't want to see him lose this opportunity. Brady, you're awfully quiet. What's your take on this? Honestly, I don't know. Sometimes I think Grant could do a better job of building this football program. But then other times I think he's doing just as good as anyone else would in this situation. Brady, you can do better than Coach Pretty Taylor. Good. What we need is a change. Now. We're losing booster support, game attendance is down, and from the looks of it, we've already lost this season. That's right. Dan, we've got a weak program because we've got a weak coach. Right. He's dead right. weight. We need to cut him loose. school all this time? Yes. I tried to call you an hour ago. Is everything all right? Grant, talk to me. I don't know where to start. What's going on? I was trying to lock up for Steve. And I overheard Dan meeting with some fathers. They didn't know I was there. Brooke, they're pushing him to get rid of me. Neil Prater, Alvin Purvis, Luke Ray. And they said I wasn't capable of winning. Call me dead weight. They can't make Dan fire you. You still got support. You, you just go get JT and Brady and see him tomorrow. Brady was there. They've just lost confidence in me. You know, I was so sure I could turn this program around. And I've just sunk it lower. Brooke, I've tried so hard. Why can't I win? You can win. Stop beating yourself up, Grant. Brooke, I can't provide you a decent home. I can't provide you a decent car. I'm a failing coach with a losing record. And I can't give you the children you want. It's me, like everything else is me. We can't have our own children because of me. What's God doing? I mean, why is this so hard? It's okay, Grant. Mr. Bridges? Revelation chapter 3 says, We serve a God that opens doors that no one can shut, and he shuts doors that no one can open. He says, Behold, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know you have a little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Coach Taylor, the Lord is not through with you yet you still have an open door here. And until the Lord moves you, you're to bloom right where you're planted. I just felt led to come and tell you that today. <laughs>